Hi everyone, it's Russ with the Mortlock Real Estate Group, and today we're gonna to be talking about Airbnb versus long-term rentals. Which is better? Yeah, so a question that we always get asked, which is better, long-term rentals or doing short-term like the Airbnb style? What are some pros to doing long-term rentals for you, Jen? Yeah, so that's the, uh, the question for sure. And um, there certainly is quite a few pros and cons to both. Um, long-term rentals, you get a consistent uh, tenant, um, hopefully a good tenant uh, that's consistent. And they can end up renting your property for years and years, making it a very low maintenance uh, type tenant for you. Whereas Airbnb, uh, if you choose to self-manage, uh, there is a lot of hands-on. There's constant turnover of different tenants. Um, you're going to get tenants who are very high maintenance and, and are, you know, trying to communicate with you a couple of times a day. And then you're going to get ones that you're not even sure if they're really even at the property because you haven't heard from them at all and uh, hope that everything is going well there, right? Um, the other thing is, is if you're using a property manager, uh, doing long-term uh, rentals with a property manager is going to be a lower cost than what they charge for a uh, short-term rental. So there's a few things uh, like that that you have to consider when you are running the numbers as to whether or not you should be running as a long-term or short-term. What are some pros for doing it the short-term style in the Airbnb? Uh, definitely cash flow is, is better. You can do three to four times. Um, you know, the con to that, there's some arguments about uh, the fact that it, it increases uh, rental rates in an area um, and takes away uh, prospective rentals from locals uh, or makes uh, the local market a little bit um, outpriced for as far as uh, what their monthly rents are gonna be. And if you wanna learn more about Airbnb, or just the overall real estate market, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified when we post our weekly videos. And what are some cons when you're doing the long-term rentals? So uh, long-term rentals, um, it is uh, quite easy if you're not doing your due diligence upfront um, to get bad tenants in there, tenants who are damaging your property. Um, the longer they're in there, obviously the more damage they can do, whereas in a short-term rental, the, it's it's relatively uh, small what they can do in, in say, a one-night stay or a two-night stay. Not saying that they can't, but... Um, and then long-term rentals are... It, it is more difficult um, to get rid of a tenant if you are having issues. Uh, so you always want to consult with a licensed property manager uh, to know what are the regulations in your area. You know, and that's another thing is... Um, with Airbnb, uh, I think each of the different cities has different rules. And so you really want to get on top of making sure that your um, rental property, whether it be a long-term rental property or short-term, is in compliance with those. But there are some extra hoops that you have to jump through with each of the different cities. Uh, and they're completely different uh, <laughs> in setting up a, a short-term rental. And so one of the cons too, I guess, with doing a long-term rental is you don't have an amazing place that you have access to that say if you have some family that comes to town that they can stay at or even for yourself if you want to go use the pool or just stay a night at a second home. Yeah, absolutely. And for some cons on the short term rental side, what are some things that you've seen that maybe might deter some people? Yeah, so it is uh, constantly hands on. Uh, or a higher cost with a property management company um, because they're having to clean the property all the time whereas with a long-term um, rental you don't typically <clears throat> you also have shorter turnover times so you'll have a guest uh, leaving at 10 a.m and another one moving in at 4 p.m so there's constantly um, communication with whoever's staying there at the time uh, if something comes up, you have you need to respond to it quickly. Uh, whereas with a long-term rental, maybe they're willing to wait three or four days for you to get a dishwasher repair person there. Well, if they're just staying for the weekend and they've got you know three families staying in a large property, they want that dishwasher fixed today. Yeah. You know they don't want to be waiting four or five days. So things like that. And for you, how did you decide going short-term rental versus long-term, like the traditional style of real estate investing? 
Yeah, so um, for me, my business partner is from out of town and she wanted to be able to utilize the property for her and her family uh, occasionally. So it number one made sense there to be able to block out those days when she wants to come with her family or when she wants friends and family to be able to use the property. Um, doing a long-term rental, she wouldn't have had that option, right? Um, but then also when you look at the numbers, uh, the numbers just made sense. Uh, the cash flow was going to be consistently higher. Um, your cash flow coming in or the times of the year when it comes in won't be as consistent because maybe we'll be slower during the winter than we are, say, in the summer months. But the amount of cash flow that you make during those busy months uh, of tourist season in, in the Okanagan really made up for it uh, being slow in the winter. So it's, it's quite lucrative is what I'm hearing. And it's worth kind of the extra hassle of setting up the cleaner, setting up the handyman, um, posting it, buying the furniture. It was totally worth it once you got it up and running. Absolutely. And if you got any questions about setting up an Airbnb or getting into the market, becoming a real estate investor and taking advantage of this lucrative market that the Okanagan has to offer, leave a comment below or contact us directly at clonahomesource.com. And if you like this video and found it useful, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.